nothing like a running clothing vlog as a little motivation to get the laundry done for the day. And yes, we do now have an outerwear playlist on the channel. All right, so long sleeves, tights. We, the last one we did was tights actually. Sorry, no, 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 half tights about uh, three or four weeks ago. All right, t-shirts, it's warming up. And as the days warm up and we talk about running t-shirts today, I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, how long has it been since we brought up this topic? And I thought for sure it was yeah, no more than six months ago. Uh-uh-uh, where does the time go? It was 18 months ago. So we are well overdue. I have a lot more shirts. I think almost this entire pile is brand, is new since that vlog from 18 months ago. And I'll, I think that's what I'll link to uh, down in the description or at the end of today's vlog. So question of the day, what is your favorite running t-shirt and why or your top three? Okay, I'm going to give my top three. Hit pause. Can you guess my top three? If you can guess all three, I'll be very, even just the brand. I'm looking at them right here. I will be very, very impressed. Yeah, we'll probably do a little cross reference to uh, the DGR shirt as well. And what else before we dive in? Oh yeah, here we go. Breathability, comfort, durability, moisture wicking, and price point. Okay, those are my five points for breaking down these running t-shirts. All of them, and I might as well do it right now. This is the newest one from Tracksmith, okay? We got Compressed Sport, Bombus, New Balance, Solomon, that's actually an old one. Rake is new, East Bay is new. Uh, that's one is a Jonji, Lululemon, that's an old one, and Say Sky, okay, along with our top three. Now listen, I have some Nike ones, I have some Adidas ones, but I honestly didn't even pull them out because they're really like shirts to take to the gym versus shirts to run in, very different, okay? So, shall we turn on, and now listen, the skit, the weight of this shirt doesn't really matter. Uh, well, okay, gotta watch what I say. It does matter. You know, if you have a shirt that's well, obviously like a really thick cotton shirt, uh, I actually like a blend sometimes in the winter when it's really cold. And listen, I don't sweat a ton in the in the winter time, especially. So I'm okay with a nice blend in the winter time to stay a little warmer, depending on how cold it is outside. Uh, but obviously, you know, usually you're you're wearing a t-shirt when it's hot out. Okay, so that's what we're talking about today. All right, drum roll, top three. Here we go in in order. So we're gonna talk. We'll start with third place first. Okay, this is actually a, a newer one as well, but. It it has quickly climbed to the top to the top three for me. It is the on performance T laser cut. Okay, pay attention to the titles. More information on this T-shirt and all the T-shirts in the top three. It's got these uh, basically ventilation holes in the back. I love that there. Nice detail. Um, it just fits so well. But is it the most breathable? No. And, but as far as fit for me and my body type, it just fits me really, really nicely. So loving this and okay, I haven't tested it yet in hot, hot conditions because it's springtime. And the reason we're doing this vlog right now is to give you ideas as for, to, you know, t-shirts to uh, pick up or, you know, buy shirts that are similar to them. Um, you know, as we get into the hot, at least in the Northern hemisphere, I realize everybody, I always feel bad for everyone uh, below the equator, but at least up here, up North, it's getting, it's starting to warm up, which is really, really nice. All right, so there you go on performance T, second place, drum roll, it is sore. And listen, I don't know if sore broke into the top, I don't think it did, okay? And this one, if I can, okay. If I can find all the details, I'll put them on the screen. This might be out of stock at this point from Soar. I'm not positive if this exact design is still available, but I love it. Now, one little concern is the durability. I am starting to see, okay, this is a critical point, the decade rule for me, and, and I really picked up on this rule from my time at the University of Colorado. If a piece of outerwear or running gear for me doesn't last a decade, I'm not impressed because I have many, many pieces of, of running gear from college. Like they still work and they're still fine. Okay. So it's like, I think at this point in the game with the technology and the textile in industry and how this all is sourced and, and constructed and what I've learned through this whole process of developing this guy, 
I think we can expect a decade out of most of the outerwear that we pick up. Now, I realize, you know, uh, designs change and trends change, and you might want to update your wardrobe a, a little more often than every decade. But I'm telling you, if you... You should expect, you should have high expectations, whereas shoes, obviously shoes wear out a lot quicker because of the foam and you're, you know, it's just how, it's just part of the reality of being a runner with respect to running shoes. And I will put these all on the scale here in a second. All right. So now let me just see. Oh yeah. Well, first of all, well, I already showed it to you. This guy is the drum roll winner, winner, chicken dinner. My favorite running t-shirt still. It's not even a running t-shirt, really. The company is called Sedon. They sent this to me, oh man, about a year ago, and it is so comfortable, so lightweight. It is not the most breathable. That would go to sore still. But as far as the comfort, and there's the blend on your screen, somehow they are pulling this off. I, uh, you know, the, the, the correct blend that makes it just, oh, it's like you want to, you just want to lay down and take a nap in it. It's just uh, amazing. Okay. The seat on trailblazer is the name of the t-shirt. So I love this. Now it's just gray. It's not the most exciting t-shirt, but again, it's like, it's like, you think of tracksmith, you think of, you know, obviously new balance. You think of Solomon, uh-uh, there's these little niche companies out there that are making incredible outerwear pieces and i'll do my best to link to all these down below okay all right i can't resist and again the weight isn't the most important but it does indicate a little bit of what uh, the construction is like should we start with seed on it's again it's not going to be the lightest i can tell you 3.3 not bad okay 3.3 for seed on uh we'll go yeah i guess we'll go on which was my third favorite 2.9 oh very interesting good work there on okay sore i think is going to be a little heavier than on Hold on. 2.9. Very interesting. Okay. So second and third place. Again, the reason I went with this guy is the, the comfort scale. And again, we're talking like, so, but then DGR. Let's just see how it stacks up against my favorites here. 3.7, 3.8, 3.8. Okay. Not bad. Considering this is our first attempt at a running t-shirt. Not bad. 3.8 versus, um, so about a little, yeah, about an ounce um, heavier than, let's say, on. All right. There you go. Again, 2.9. Okay. Comment of the day. Did I? Oh yeah. I already asked the question of the day. Comment of the day is coming from yesterday's vlog. It's amazing. From Tyler. I worked for Florida's Department of Education while getting my PhD in higher education. That's amazing. Wow. You're working hard, sir. Was denied, was denied into the program initially. And amidst the pandemic, I was actually working at Home Depot after getting my master's and thought it would be dumb to apply again. My father-in-law took me aside and said, if you don't believe in yourself, they won't ever believe in you. Mm, good words from your father-in-law. I applied, got in, and one of the best books I have ever read while in school was actually about D-Day. And I learned how basically World War II was won, not by a massive army, but by the decisions of a few brave men. Life is about decisions and how we discern decisions. Great topic today, Seth Tyler. That's awesome. You got me going there, Tyler. You get the comment of the day. Send me an email. We, I'll get you stickers in the mail 100%. There you have it. I love it. So many great t-shirts out there. And again, great value will be down in the comments. All right, we'll toss it to 18 months ago. The running t-shirt vlog right there. Oh, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.